night with the victim of a bitter bite. Good evening to you. I'm Dave Llewellyn. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. The man who left without part of his tongue after a kiss recalls the shocking moment that forever changed his speech. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live in Centerline tonight with a story you'll see only on 7. So, Kim, how long did these two know each other? Well, Dave and Carolyn, the victim, Arthur, says they met through friends only a few months ago. He only wants to use his first name. And what he did not know is that in 1997, this woman actually pled guilty to assault with intent to do great bodily harm on someone. But then she absconded from probation for 15 years. I'm on painkillers and antibiotics. And uh, they had to put a needle in my tongue to freeze it and stitch it up, as you can see. Hard to imagine the pain this 68-year-old centerline man was feeling when police say this woman, Ulette Wedgworth, bit off a piece of his tongue. Most painful thing I've ever been through in my life. It happened around 7.30 Tuesday morning inside Arthur's apartment in Centerline. Police say Arthur and Ulette were in a consensual kiss. Ulette claims she told Arthur not to put his tongue in her mouth. Arthur says he went in for a kiss and the next thing he knew, he was in agony and about an inch of his tongue was gone. No one, no shoving, no pushing, or nothing. You just went in for a kiss. Well, and, then... and all of a sudden, hey. Sally 911, what city is your emergency in? Here's part of Arthur's call to 911. What's bleeding? My tongue. Your tongue, what happened? Did you bite it? Yeah, uh, girl bit it. She bit it. It's a girl woman bit my tongue. Centerline police found the piece of Arthur's tongue that was bitten off, but unfortunately, doctors were not able to reattach it. The doctor said that it's going to be a species of parable. After she allegedly bit his tongue off, Arthur says Ulette showed zero remorse. She was worried about how she'd get home, not worried about I'm standing up there bleeding to death. You probably wanted to go down with me since you did it. Well, that's the age of her, like when I said to her, standing up there with my blood dripping from me, I said, why did she do that? Why? What did she say? She couldn't answer it. And you let Wedgworth is charged with misdemeanor aggravated assault. She remains locked up on a $25,000 bond. Reporting live in Centerline, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right. Thank you so much, Kim.